On today's review, I have the Shozy Neo CP3 in-ear monitor. Welcome to Rectum. I am Sean, and I am happy to bring you a review of the Shozy CP3 in-ear monitor, or IEM. Please click subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and you'll get a notification whenever I make a new video. So, here it is. Here's the box, and I am already super impressed, at least with the packaging. I don't have a ton of box to throw away. I got a little box, because these are little in-ear monitors. Don't need a great big package. So let's give plus one to Shozy for not consuming valuable resources in a box that I'm gonna throw away. So with the box out of the way, what do you say we do an unboxing? Close up with the camera, show you these in-ear monitors. I'm gonna wear them for a little while, and I'll get back to you with part three my final thoughts. So let's do the close-up part two and turn it around the camera right now. Well okay thank you for sticking around and here is the unboxing of the Shozy Neo CP-3 in-ear monitor. And here it says Shozy CP-3 drivers, 3 by cross, I think that's for 3 by crossover. Um, solving sound with no fatigue. Take a look at the back. I have cut the tape already. Um, delicate organic meets sound meets clarity. Presented by Shozy X Neo Audio. CP in-ear monitor offers premium hand-built craftsmanship combined with meticulous sound tuning. Fusing Knoll's balanced armatures and a specially designed high extension tweeter units. Knoll's um, Balanced armatures are uh, the industry standard. They are considered to be top of the line. You'll experience detailed natural sound with precise imaging and enjoyable sound stage. So here's an interchangeable metal sound tuning filter module. So this got some extra little filters in there. A genuine Knowles bass driver. So the big balanced armature you see in here is going to be. Uh, the, the base from, from Knowles. Super tweeter for extra high frequencies extension. MMCX connectors. MMCX is uh, mini, micro, coaxial, something like that. That's the little round cable connectors. Let's get in here. I know you're waiting. So there it is. Chelsea. Upside down in there. There it is. There's a little, nice little case. I like this already. I like this boxes. There's nothing to it. I'm not going to put, um, you know, a pound of cardboard into the recycle bin or a landfill uh, when I'm just throwing something away. I like this case. This is all I need. I will find the tips that fit best and feel best and I will put everything else in this case and then store this case where I store watch cases and extra links for watches. So if I need to get back in there and get a new tip, uh, I will always, I always know where my cases are. Um, Ultimate Ears, that was a very similar kind of a, a little case. And the opening, there we are. Little zip top package, open up here. I can feel already the um, this cable feels great. It just has this very supple. Look, look at this bend. That is so fantastic. And these monitors. Here's the blue for left. Here is the MMC connector. See it. So it turns, and these are, I always like these because I can change when this is in my ear, and it'll be oriented like this in my left ear, I can move this to fit along my ear. See that? I can move it out of the way to not be in my ear at all. I can have it loop over my ear. MMCX connector, a great touch. Uh, there's the little two pin ones as well, and I don't know who makes a better sound. I just know I like this connector best. And it's on the Shozy. So that is another plus. Oh, Shozy's just giving pluses today. So, these, these cables are so robust. 
really like this. Really like this. Here is a chin cinch, so you can cinch this up and tighten it around your chin. And I've never done that. People do it. Rock stars do this. Um, I think they put it on the back of their heads often for in ear monitors. Um, look at that braid. Look at that. Open that up a little bit for you. Oh, it just, and it feels so supple. Really cool. This is quality. This is just fantastic. Sorry, I'm going to talk about this cable so much, but you should know if you're watching a review. And it's the whole product. Just feels great. Little carbon fiber touch. Let's get on to, let's get on to the actual in-ear monitors themselves. Here's blue for your left ear, and here is red for your right ear. Which can I see through better to show you the interior? Um, I don't know. Let's try the blue. So you see here the Shosey logo upside down. Shosey logo. And I can't feel it. So it, it, this says to me there's another layer underneath here. And then they put another layer of resin on top where I can't feel this. It's like another step. And inside is Neo and the serial number. And again, I can't feel it. And look at the look at the soldering and the crossover on that. Just so well done. And these feel robust. But look at that big balanced armature. Isn't that great? That's the knolls and that delivers the base and the little tubes venting to the nozzle. Okay, I'll go over and you see here on top the mid-sized one for all your mids and the Smaller one for your trouble in your high end, your high, your high notes. Wow. Wow, we. Here, I just gotta turn this around in my fingers for you for a moment. You gotta. I'm gonna put a link. I, I'll tell you later on. I'm gonna put. A, and I'll tell you now. I'm gonna put a link to buy these. Um, this just feels like quality. Um, here is a tip. Pop that right off, and here's the nozzle. And this is the metal vent unscrews, and you can replace these with the other ones. I'm just gonna leave these on. Uh, and that unscrewed, that felt great. This feels like a like a high precision machined, like it's like a watch. It's like a, the crown on a dive watch. It, that feels so smooth. It's like in in looking at this, it's every detail, every attention, it's, this is, wow, I can't wait to hear them. Just the feel of this. I think these, these cost me, I think, a hundred, under $170. The feel, so far so good. I am really, really, really liking this. Here's the red. Let's see how that red looks. Red for right. Oh, yeah. Okay, Shozy. You have thoroughly impressed me with the feel of this. Okay, I am so looking forward to, to hearing that. Let's look what else is in this case. As I can, I'll do off camera, I'll just look at those for another 20 minutes. They look so good. Just totally professional. Not, not a throwaway. Oh, oh that's... And now we got tips, and apparently, what's in here? Okay, so those are the other nozzles. Uh, yeah, I'll try them. I don't want to. I'll I'll try them later. Right now, I'll try. I'll try the tips that these came with, because usually the companies put a tip that uh, is pretty common, something that's going to feel really good. And here are all the other tips. Wow, let's dump this bag. You know what, you're here, you're tuned in, and I'm gonna dump out the rest of the tips. If I can defeat the security measures presented by the zip top bag, I will dump out the other tips. All right, there's a, that's a nice, that's a fair amount of tips. So I'm not gonna spend, I'm not gonna sort them all out, I'm just gonna make pairs without 
sorting everything. So you can see how many pairs there are. Yep, stick around. This is fun. Look at these. Look at this. They're giving me again, I'm not sorting them out. These aren't matched pairs. I'm just doing pairs. I'm getting off screen here. Okay. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs, and the ninth pair already installed. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, you, the listener, will find a pair that will fit your ears. And maybe if you have drastically different ears, you can take different sizes and put them in to different ears until you find the perfect combination. But wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of tips. Let's go ahead and, ooh, I'll just get away. We have a, an escapee. Let's get back to these. Okay, there they are. Here they are. Let's go on the right, on, on their appropriate sides. Right for red, blue for left. They're, I don't know how they make this. Is this a mold? What do they do? They pour resin in a mold that said handmade. Um, well, who knows? But they are like identical. They just look and perfect. The inside is flawless. These little solder connections with the crossover. Amazing. All right, that's enough ranting and raving about how beautiful these are. Let me try these for a little while and I'm gonna do a final thought video or final thought segment to follow right now. So just stick around while I turn the camera on and set up the studio and um, we'll be right back. Let me try these for a few days, a week or so, and I'll make my second, my third portion of this. Be right back. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around for the close-up. Now, my final thoughts. I'm going to cut right to the chase. I like these in-ear monitors a ton. First, the Shozy Neo CP3 in-ear monitors look fantastic. They just look stunning. They fit great, and there's no pain or discomfort for uh, through extended listening. I've actually puttered around the, the yard, I've cleaned the house, washed dishes. I've done all kinds of things with these and they haven't bothered me. There's no pain, there's no discomfort. They fit, um, they fit well. They have very, very comfortable. Some people say, they talk about fatigue, no fatigue. Um, I don't know, I mean, getting, what does that mean, fatigue? Are you getting tired? Uh, I say no irritation. These feel really, really comfortable. I'm not getting any irritation out of having these in my ear. And this cord just drapes and doesn't transmit sound to the ears when I'm moving around. And being so close to the ear, um, you wind up with using less volume. You can really tone the volume down and you can hear such clarity out of your files. For an example, uh, my Roku has, and many of you know the Roku box with the uh, your program, Hulu and Netflix and Amazon Prime and all those things on it. Uh, it's got a headphone jack in the remote so I can listen quietly. Add the volume up, watch a movie, listen quietly. These are comfortable for the duration of a movie. You're talking a couple hours, two and a half hours of comfort with these. That's just one example of how these feel and how clear and how nice they are to have in the ear. Another thing is, I can't chew them out. Um, not chew them out like giving them a, a, a chew them out like yelling at them. I can't, if I'm watching a movie, and having some popcorn, or doing some stuff, drinking, chewing gum, they don't pop out of my ears. Other in-ear monitors have popped right out of my ears while I'm chewing. These stay put, and they don't wiggle themselves around, so you gotta push them back and reseat them. They stay in place, and they feel great for the whole time. So for an example, I'm just gonna show you really fast how to put these in. This is gonna be my right ear, right is red, Blue is left. So I take it and face down. Put it in, swing it up. So this now points up and 
with the MMC connector, it's uh, it turns so this loop fits right in and drapes right over the ear perfectly and it feels really great and you just drop it in within a, uh, a couple of seconds and you are in two ears maybe this will change my volume because um, it blocks out a lot of ambient sound uh, and really isolates the listener you from the outside world and just delivers clear precise sound. Let's talk about sound. Let me pop right out. There's something special here. I've tested these with MP3 and WAV files. Your CDs are recorded in .WAV. Um, MP3 is a compression. Now the MP3, many people will argue with uh, MP3 sounds just as good as a WAV and it doesn't. It doesn't sound nearly as good as .WAV, the lossless files, the file that is the complete file size that comes on the CD. Um, dot wave is to compress it so you can fit more onto the same CD. I use, whenever I get a disc and I buy CDs, I take the CD and I burn it in MP3 onto my computer and I burn the dot wave onto my computer. For my MP3 player, I put the dot wave files. For a disc that I'm gonna burn, I burn MP3 files and I can take that and I can have like 60 or 80 songs and I can throw that into my car when I get tired of that disc I can toss it and make a new one. So there's the thing because in the car you've got road noise, you've got conversations, you've got the roof rails making sound, you got the wheels making sound, you don't need the big files. So you can get a disc and store a whole bunch of songs on there and just listen. Um, and I don't we live in the desert, so I don't bring an MP3 player and leave it sitting in my car to plug it into an auxiliary jack because I don't want it sitting out there in 110 degrees when the car is, I don't know, 120 degrees inside. So I use the disc. So for the sound, the bass has punch. I've shown you the balance armature that handles bass, and it's big, and it does give you quite a clean, hard thump, a big attack. Uh, I've listened to a lot of different music on a lot of different MP3 players. The Fio, the Creative, a Creative Zen that I've had for years. Uh, it's been full of music, so I just threw that on to listen to the music. And uh, Sansa uh, Clip, the Sandisk Clip, um, which is another really fantastic MP3 player. Also has an FM radio. I've listened to the radio through these. And I have to say, it's a non, these are non-irritating. They sound good, they feel good. The bass, the punch out of the bass, for example, Avril Lavigne, no, many of you guys are going to, like, I'm not going to have much street cred being a metalhead. Um, Avril Lavigne has a song called Skaterboard, and in about 12 or 13 seconds, there's this thud. And it happens every um, five or six seconds, this boom. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you haven't listened to it in a good pair of in-ear monitors. Because that boom happens over and over again, and some in-ear monitors won't reveal it. These nail it. You just feel this, and it lasts like a second, it's just boom. Uh, listening to Rush, hearing Getty Lee sing, the vocals, his range. Some notes come out of the nose, some notes come out of the mouth, and you can kind of hear where they're coming from. The clarity of these in-ear monitors, listening to violin, listening to country, listening to some Eminem. All of this sounds good and clear. And this, dare I say, is my favorite in-ear monitor currently. Right now is time of making this. Um, I love them. The sound is fantastic. The look is fantastic. The cord is fantastic. The MMCX cables that pop right off and are replaceable. They feel fantastic. Uh, I'm going to give this, you know, I don't have any review or rating system, but what I came up with earlier when I was, when I was listening to these is I came up with, um, I'm going to call these a two. So a zero, don't buy them, okay? Not a zero, they're a two. A one, buy them when they break, discard them, and buy something else. Explore. A two? Or not when they break. When they break, when they lose them, when you dunk them in the water, whatever. 
try something else. That's a one. A two, which I give these, um, is probably equivalent to a five star rating. Buy two. Go out, buy two. I'm going to include a link. Of course, you don't need to buy two, buy as many as you want. Uh, I'm going to include a link below to Amazon. I'm an affiliate. I, you don't pay any extra if you buy through my link. Uh, I just give a, a little percentage. No extra when you buy through Rectum with a, with a link. I'm going to give it a two because I think that for me, I know, for you, I think, um, that if you break these or lose these, you're going to want them replaced. You're going to want them replaced fast. And that's why I say give it a two. I had to order two because, I mean, order a third because I said to my wife, try these because she listens to the Roku and to her computer and uh, an MP3 player and she confiscated them. She loved them that much. So, of course, I have two in my house. I'm going to tell you, I don't see anything better than this at this price point under $170. It's just, they're just that good. They just have this, this drive, this punch, the highs don't pierce. There's not that sibilance that, you know, you hear the cymbal sound splashy like that. These sound crisp. The attack is hard. The decay is just like the sound engineer wants you to hear it. Um, it's a beautiful pair of in-ear monitors and they just look great. Uh, so there's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me and watching the review on the Shozy Neo CP-3 3 balance armature per ear in-ear monitors. Uh, again, I recommend them. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe and I'll see you again real soon.